How's it going everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. I'm out here on my deck again. I'm not cooking chicken today. What I'm doing is some uh, leg workouts. I got a little platform here and I'm doing some rear elevated, uh, rear leg elevated split squats. But I wanted to take a moment and shoot this video to address a question that I keep getting ever since I did August of Arms, 31 Days of Arms. And specifically, the last time I got the question, it was, what are your thoughts on C.T. Fletcher's methods? Well, as far as I know, C.T. Fletcher has a billion methods. So I wanted to know exactly what he was talking about. I figured I knew. But um, he says, for instance, he doesn't believe in overtraining. And he does arms and chest every day. Or at least I know he's stated he's done arms and chest every day. Um, so first off, I just want to say I don't know C.T. Fletcher. I've never met him. I just learned about him like late last year in one of the YouTube videos. It's got like 8 billion views or whatever. Um, so I have no idea. I've never never met the guy. I know my share of people. I can tell you one thing. It's obvious that C.T. Fletcher, at least he trains. I have a suspicion that some of these people that put out information and put out videos, I don't even know how much they train anymore. Some of them looks like they don't train at all anymore. So... I, I don't know. So people have, make statements that C.T. Fletcher takes steroids. Man, I don't know if somebody takes steroids. The last person I was told took steroids, I've trained with him a couple, three different times, and I just figured he was strong and in good shape. I, I had no indication the guy was on steroids. Everybody else uh, was trying to tell me he was. I, I really couldn't care less if anybody's on steroids, to tell you the truth. Um, but here's a few things. I just want to take some notes. Uh, first off, the dude is jacked, so you know he uses, uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, so you know that he trains, and he's consistent, okay? The dude works in a gym, so he's got the weights all around him. He can probably train just about whenever he wants to. He probably knows his optimal time for training and gets his training in whenever, whenever that happens to be. I mean, he works in a gym. For all I know, he owns that Metroflex gym that he trains at. I'm, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I don't know C.T. Fletcher. The dude's been training for decades. The guy held, you know, the curl record and I think raw bench press records or something like that back in like the early 90s. And back then, I think he was like close to 300 pounds or, you know, at least over 250. Um, and, uh, you know, 300 pounds might be a little bit heavy, but, you know, I've seen, I've, I've met Big J, Jason English, and I tower over Big J. I, I've got him by like four inches. Big J seems to tower over C.T. Fletcher. So you're looking at somebody that's probably this tall, and for him to be 250, 280, dude's got to be big, thick, dense. He might be a little... Might have been a little fat, but I mean, he must have had a, a lot of muscle there, too. Um, he looks a lot better now. Uh, he says he's had, um, you know, several heart problems or whatever, health problems, and he had to get lighter and healthier, uh, so he's not that heavy anymore. I mean, he's held records. Here's another thing, man. Dude has testimonials. He has people that will vouch for him that his training works. And those people that are vouching for him are just as jacked, if not more so, than CT. I know that Mike Rashid um, has has put out statements saying that CT Fletcher's methods work. And Mike Rashid is slice and dice, cut like cake. So, I mean, that, that's that got to count for something, too. Uh, CT seems to train in a team atmosphere, or at least it always seems like whenever he's working out, he's got like the same two or three dudes with him. I don't remember their names, but I mean, the same two or three dudes are almost always there. And then you see the same, you know, two or three other guys that make appearances every so often. So it's almost like he's in this, this team structure. And I know that when I was training in a team structure like that, back in the mid-2000s, when I was doing strongman competitions, that was probably the strongest I've ever been when, when you have that team atmosphere going. Um, I started to touch on that earlier this year when I had two or three guys that were always here all the time. Since then, things have come up, and that hasn't been going like that recently. But during that time, I mean, you get that team atmosphere. You get the same people that you're comfortable with. You can you can put up some serious numbers and see a lot of gains in the gym. And the other thing is the dude probably eats like a stinking animal. 
He probably has, you know, a fair amount of money coming in. He can buy good food, and he doesn't shy away from it. In fact, I would even say that it looks like he's put on a few pounds recently because he's probably eating a lot. It looks like he's doing a lot of endorsements and appearances lately. I don't want to sound like a complete stalker. I do watch uh, a few videos uh, here and there every so often. Um, but it looks like he eats good too. Now, here's some things that I did notice about uh, C.T. Fletcher in some of the videos that I've watched. His arms don't seem to straighten out. My suspicion there is it has to do with something with the, um, the decreased range of motion that he does. I know on preacher curls he talks about doing 100 pound preacher curls, but the range of motion is maybe 50% of, of the possible range. And potentially over the years, maybe that's caused some problem where uh, the, the biceps don't naturally lengthen. I know for the strict curls that he did, you don't have to, it didn't look like he had to have the arms straight. You just had to have them touching really leg. I don't know that for certain. I'm not 100% um, aware of those rules. But, you know, the training can, can, can cause those types of changes. I've, I know that I've seen videos where he says, I'm all fucked up, where his joints are messed up. His, you know, he talks about how his uh, arms don't rotate right or, or something like that. You know, I've got that too. And it happens from oh, the way you train versus the way you take care of yourself. And for too long, I didn't stretch. And for therefore, therefore, it's kind of an uphill battle for me to get back to, you know, 100% um, safe and healthy conditions. But I'm working on it. Um, as far as working arms and chest every day, I just proved that it is perfectly, you're, someone is perfectly capable of doing arms every day during the month of August. I just did it, and a handful of other people just did it during the month of August. With, I mean, if anything, my arms feel better now than they did when I started the month of August. So I, I don't have any, I, I don't shy away from that at all. However, one thing I will say is it's very easy to work the antagonist muscles when you're working arms, the biceps, and then the triceps or antagonist muscle groups. So it's easy to maintain a balance. I think it's a little bit tougher to maintain a balance between chest, you know, benching, all this pushing, and then rowing, the pulling. I think you've got to do quite a bit more rowing in order to maintain that balance um, to be aware of that. So it might be a little bit tougher with bench. I don't know. I've never done bench every day in a month. I don't know if I ever will. So I, I can't really comment on that. But can someone do the same body part every single day for a month straight? Absolutely. I know that for a fact. And see good gains, strength, and size-wise. Do I think he's outright lying about his training? Absolutely not. Like I said, he's already got too many supporters that have talked about his benefits and will vouch for him. There, there's no way he's lying. Plus the dude is jacked. I don't even know how old he is, but he's still huge. A lot of times when people get older, you see muscle atrophy. Uh, the dude still looks stacked to me. Um, you know, a person's individual situation is going to have a lot to do with what they're capable of doing in the gym. I know for me, during August, it was a hell of a lot easier for me to get into the gym when all I had to do was walk downstairs and then, you know, maybe 20 feet in that direction, right? Whereas if I had to drive for 20 minutes, I probably wouldn't have made some of those workouts. You know, he, like I said, he seems to pretty much live in a gym, so it's going to be easier for him to, to work consistently and to put in experiments to see how he responds. Uh, and then finally, am I going to apply everything that he does since I just did August of Arms and it worked for me? No, I'm not. I don't think it could. I don't think everything that he does will work for me because I have too many. I have too many other goals. For instance, I do grip training. Try to make my hands as strong as possible for grip contests. CT Fletcher does not do that. So I personally would feel that doing so much of this stuff all the time over and over and over it would take away from my workouts and I wouldn't want to make that sacrifice so for that reason alone I wouldn't do it um, you know aside of the other stuff I mean if I didn't do grip contests I would I would give other things a try I wouldn't take steroids that's not what I'm saying but I would give other training methods a try hell yeah if it's working for someone I want to give that a try I'm I've never been afraid of experimenting I don't think anybody should be afraid of experimenting with different training protocols and things along those lines, but if they don't make you better, then scrap them and try something else or go back to what you know works. 
I think that's important as well. You got you got you got to think about this and, and do things the right way, and it's all about what's getting you results. But as far as training arms every day for a month, I absolutely. I think somebody could do that at least for at least one or two months out of a year, maybe more often. I'd have to try it more. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, like I said, a lot of people have asked me. I think people are comfortable asking me questions. Plus, you know that I know a lot of people. It just so happens that C.T. Fletcher is way out in California. I'm in Pennsylvania. Our paths have never crossed. I did put in for, uh, for a contest that he had one time to go out and train with him, and I believe he was just scared of napalm and didn't select me to go out there and train with him because he knew that I would show him up and... Uh, you know, that's just how I feel about that. There's no other reason why he wouldn't select me. I'm that damn cool. But otherwise, that's what I got for you today. I hope it's been helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and all the best in your training.